Hi, Sagittarius. We are taking a look at your last week of May 2024. Let's see what is coming your way, Sagittarius. Are you ready? As always, you guys know I love hearing or reading where you are tuning in from. It's so interesting seeing where my fire signs are coming from all around the world, what city, state, or country. So if you feel comfortable sharing, Sagittarius, I would love to know where you are receiving your message today, what city, state, country, or possibly what you are doing at this time. Because I know a lot of you guys enjoy multitasking in some way as my busy, productive fire signs. So maybe you are cooking, you are commuting, you're cleaning out your garage, you're gardening, you're possibly working at your desk, multitasking, checking emails. Let me know, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Ooh, interesting. What's up with my fire signs having a lot of air energy? I mean, if you blow air into the fire, I guess it, <laughs> I guess it expands. But, um, yeah, very interesting here. Sagittarius, let's see what's going on. Your top row, we have the four of pentacles followed by the five of swords, four of swords, and two of pentacles. Your bottom row, we're looking at eight of pentacles, hierophant, the star, and we have the nine of wands. Now, these are all different placements in your life. Starting with the Four of Pentacles in your area of strength for this week. Four of Pentacles in your area of strength. So let's get your clarifier for the Four of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Something about uh, being patient. Being patient with the process. Um, also, some I'm also seeing like not rushing, okay? Not rushing, but making sure that you have everything like orderly, in control, um, just having something planned out. So the two of wands is showing being prepared and planned, okay? Planning to prepare, planning to prepare because they have not yet left, but they are looking to go beyond. So they are maybe making preparations for their travel. They're looking to make that move, to transfer, to maybe, you know, leave beyond. Um, but they're not going to leave like today, but they definitely have a date set in their mind, metaphorically speaking, okay? So the Four of Pentacles, this is also someone that is like saving. They are conserving. So uh, your strength in this month, we see, you know, making those arrangements, saving your time, saving your money, saving your resources or your energy. You're like holding back, okay? But by you saving and holding back, it's going to be accumulating. There's some type of compound effect where your patience is paying off. Just like the Seven of Pentacles, her patience with the garden is paying off because instead of plucking something that is um, not yet ripe, okay, she's able to benefit from the fruits when they are ready because that would be a detriment, right? If you pluck something, a fruit, even though it, the fruit is there but it's not ready to pluck, you take it off the, the, the tree or the bush, it's kind of a waste because you w took all that time to grow it and then it's not even ready. It's premature, right? So in this month, we see something here like waiting until the time is right. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of wands. Ooh, interesting. Possibly looking to leave. So where are you trying to go, Sagittarius? I, I'm <laughs> there, There's this area. Because this is in your area of strength, this also shows that you are a patient person. Or maybe you're channeling the energy of just being very patient and like buying your time. Um, sometimes the energy of anticipation motivates us too. Like you are anticipating something and while you are waiting, you're also, again, multitasking. While you're waiting, you're also doing something to bind, like, bind your time, okay? It's like, okay, while I'm waiting, I'm going to just keep saving up my money in the, in the meantime or I'm going to start, you know, selling off all my stuff or I'm going to gather all the information that I can. So there's something I see that you're doing um, to add to that strength. In your second placement, this is release. You know what's interesting? I think, who was that? Was it um, Aries? I think Aries and Leo, they are experiencing a lot of air energy too, showing release. And they both had these cards. I think Aries had four of swords and Leo had five of swords or they both had those same cards. And now you have it, Sagittarius. So what's going on here with the five of swords in your area of release? 
Nine of Pentacles and Page of Wands. Ooh, something about when you eliminate something, you're going to have more of it. And when you have more of it, you're able to do, go further with it. There, there's some type of, like you're cutting off dead weight, metaphorically speaking. Like there's something that you are eliminating, you're, you're trimming away. It could be a person, okay? It could be a situation. Sometimes it could be also habits, okay? Habits that have been dragging us down. But by you eliminating it, this release is only going to allow you to gain more. Gain more abundance, gain, gain more time. Maybe now you have more money because you're not spending it on someone or lending it out. Maybe you um, letting go of an old job because now you have time to gain a new job, right? Because the page of wands also shows someone jumping into something new, uh, uh, like a, a new connection, a new job, a new opportunity. Uh, the page of wands also shows there's uh, potential, okay? There is a lot of breakthrough and potential through this new journey that they are going on. So by a release, Sagittarius, there's a come up, okay? Through this release, there's uh, definitely a come up. Um, I should have done this row last so I can stack them. Maybe I'll do it like this, okay. Let's see here. So now we are looking at your four of swords in your third placement, an area to gain. In this last week of May to gain what you will be gaining or what you are encouraged to gain. Four of Swords represents peace, relaxation. Um, this is also contemplation, okay? Recuperating, recharging your energy. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. That kind of struck me um Sagittarius some of you are um gaining okay I see peace okay I definitely see some type of like closure maybe that's what it is maybe there's like closure after the ending um but sometimes there's peace realizing when there's no more suffering there's some type of suffering that's being put to an end whether it's your suffering or the suffering of a loved one and um they are at peace and they are at rest so it gives you peace and rest um, we also see some type of ending happening, but through that ending, there's a, a rebirth. So you, the old you being put to rest, your old life, this old um, role of you, okay? Things that used to consume you are no longer consuming you and you're just like cutting it out. And it's you're like ready to break away. And remember I was, I was saying that it could be habits. Maybe you're breaking away from old habits, patterns, behaviors, connection. This could be like purging of belongings or memories. It's like wiping, a, wiping it away, <laughs> wiping it all away and starting over again because we see new, okay? This is new abundant opportunities this is showing manifestations abundance also the ace of pentacles is showing that um sometimes you come across unexpected sums of money so not all of you but some of you may be experiencing that um with maybe someone that has passed or that has left your life or been cut out of your life you have more money or they're leaving you money or you win some type of um settlement okay where you're coming across the money through a divorce or some sort of um that but also this is ideas too. Sometimes your ideas, when you are just in your state of peace, calmness, or meditation, and you let go of like the chatter, the noise, the distractions, you eliminate the drama, then things come to you clearly and those clear um, visions or ideas, they can be tangible, okay? You can, it, it's going to be something. Those ideas turn into something much valuable. As we look at your fourth placement, this is in your career, your job, or your personal like projects. So Sagittarius, let's see what this is all about. We have the, the two of pentacles with the nine of cups and the high priestess having to make decisions. You are deciding between, I mean, decisions are good. And for those that are looking for new um like a new start or a new opportunity 
having options is better than having nothing. So I do see that there could be like two jobs or two commissions or two roles that you're deciding upon. Um, could also be when it comes to just like relocating. There's something that you're deci- you're having to choose. Like, should I do this project or that project? But it's better to have options. You're going to be like surrounded by an abundance of options or opportunities to choose from. Just like with this nine of cups, she's like, hmm, which drink do I want? Do I want the orange? Do I want the apricot, the apple, the strawberry, the grapes, right? Like she has options to choose. Which cup does she want to drink from? So there's something here. Sagittarius where you're going to have options to choose from and the high priestess connected with that is saying like use your better judgment go with your gut okay go with your gut feeling um if you are having a hard time deciding um the not the two of pentacles I'm also seeing that you may be having to like you're handling different situations especially with my fire signs, you guys are really good at juggling responsibilities and manage, okay? You're really good at like management. That's what makes you guys like great leaders. A lot of fire signs are in like leadership positions or entrepreneur positions or some type of um, role where you don't, where you're your own boss, right? Like you're not micromanaged. You're kind of like your own person. You're your own department basically. And... um. This is a week where managing and prioritizing certain things or staying up to date with something, okay, like balancing that out could be bringing you more opportunities because you know how to balance relationships, because you know how to balance your time, because you know how to um, make sure you are like, you know, in the middle, you're balanced. You're not too stressed. You're not too too wrecked. People might recognize that, like, oh yeah, you know what, Sagittarius, they can they can take this on. They got options, so we, you know, we're gonna give them options here. So there's something here that you're gonna benefit from. In your fifth placement, let's look at your relationships. We see Eight of Pentacles. So we have the Empress, and we see the Six of Pentacles coming in. Um, with relationships, again, it's not only love, it could be job, it could be friends, okay, it could be family, but I do see here that with your repetitive follow-up, there's something here that you are like constantly doing, but you're doing it like with passion, you're doing it with care, attention to detail, with this constant flow of showing up, Sagittarius, there's something that's growing, okay there's something that's like producing that's being produced there's um there's definitely growth behind your constant follow-up and you're going to see that come back around in a boomerang effect this is almost like a karmic energy this person keeps giving okay the six of pentacles they are in a position to give 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 they are in a position to give and even though you would think their scale may be uneven one day right the, the scales are uneven when you are always in a place of giving because the more you give, the lower the scale goes and the other person receiving, it goes up. However, this also, because these scales are even, this is representing that where you are giving, Sagittarius, it's going to give back, okay? It's giving, <laughs> it's giving rewards, okay? This energy is giving karmic rewards. So something that you have always been generous in, generous with your time your care you maybe go above and beyond at work you pay attention to details with your um product okay you are always a caring person you always help others you're always giving advice there's something here that it's coming back around to you and you are being known for that like your reputation precedes you okay like people they know about you or they hear about you or um they're going to talk about you in a good way um and you're going to find something or someone that will connect with that dedication and loyalty that you offer. You're going to benefit from that greatly. The Hierophants in your sixth placement is personal growth, development, and health. So we see the Hierophants coming in, Sagittarius. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles and Three of Cups. This may be, okay, this could be you. 
that's experiencing this but this could also be some type of like immediate family member that's ex experiencing this too it could be someone like that, that's a part of like your family tree close family tree as i look at this maternal energy with the queen of pentacles but it still benefits you uh look out for some type of news okay someone may be announcing something that that is happening but it still affects you so they are celebrating a marriage a proposal engagement baby new job retirement right there's something here um where it may not affect you directly, but indirectly, okay? Maybe your spouse got a promotion. Maybe your favorite sister is having a baby and you're becoming, you know, like an aunt or an uncle. There's something here that's it's being official. Now, this official could be you too, okay? You are making some type of official, official announcement that um, it's going to mean a lot to you, okay? You, you treasure it dearly and it means so much and you want to celebrate this it means a lot this is your baby so maybe it is you announcing hey guess what <laughs> i got this new job or i'm starting my own business guess what i have my own product i created my own book it could also be your journey okay it's official you are going to be traveling the world for a year and taking a sabbatical you are officially retiring okay enjoying your life maybe you officially adopted a pet there's something that you want to celebrate you're like yay i'm so happy for myself okay but you want others to enjoy that happiness with you or they will be wanting to celebrate with you here at sagittarius something it's like congratulations you got a house right something here that you, it's like you treasure it you got a new car it's official oh that's so crazy you and um who is it aries you guys may be walking the same path okay you guys may be experiencing the same thing because i'm seeing the same cards show up which is so crazy so we have the star in your seventh placement showing unexpected surprise with eight of cups and six of cups um you know that expression um if you love something let it go okay if it's meant to be it'll come back around that's what i see something here Sometimes you have to walk away from things that you love dearly or that you once loved, but you know it's no longer fulfilling you. Um, but instinctively, you feel drawn to, you know, seek something else or go somewhere else. And where you are seeking, you will find exactly what you need or exactly what's meant or fit for you. Something's definitely aligning here. Uh, the star, it does tap into, you know, a, a dream coming true. The star also taps into some type of higher purpose. So some things play out in the way that they're meant to be for our highest good and even though we may be saddened by it at the moment we realize it could be better for us in the long in the long term okay the eight of cups also shows that some of you are following like your heart's desire your heart was in something at one point in your life and now you are being drawn to another star okay another star but this one star was the stepping stone it got you to point a point b now you're going to c d e and f okay and now your heart is being led somewhere else in this path in your life and that's okay that's okay because in life all those stars when we look back they all connect in who we become or who we come across or what we do or what we produce so that is a surprise that some of you may be expecting how life just works in interesting ways and how the stars align your eighth placement we have the nine of wands here for you sagittarius um your near event or um near situations that may be coming to look out for in the next week or so especially in the beginning of june oh four of swords okay so it i feel like man aries had this too it's so crazy so we have nine of wands with the four of swords and the magician interesting we have four of swords showing up double for you something about again being patient with the process something that you are being very dedicated to like you're determined what is it in your life sagittarius that you are very loyal to if you care to share because i i see you you are laying down the the the, the line for this like you are you are pouring a lot of your energy into this you are determined you are so determined that you know when something consumes you nothing else can distract you that's what i see here your focus is solely on this passion that you have at the moment maybe it's you maybe you're trying to work on yourself 
okay? Self-love, self-transformation, working on your health, your fitness. It's like you are dedicated. You are staying on point. You're staying focused on your diets, on your fitness journey. Some of you, this is a goal that you have in mind. Your goal is to accomplish cert- certain things at a certain time and you're not going to allow certain people or situations distract you, okay? You're creating a barrier for yourself because with the magician, it, this is like the ultimate manifestation. The magician is showing that how or who you surround yourself influences the outcome, okay? We see you tapping into your power and being inspired through your, I would say like your action and your vision. Therefore, you're realizing, you know what? Everything can be at your fingertips. You can create what it is that you are looking to to build. Just needs a little bit more time, focus, intentions, discipline. Um, but also, what's that word? Um, not promise not determination secure not secure um when someone is very confident there we go that's the word confident okay the the magician is very confident all all of these signs show confidence they are confident in something that they believe in this four swords represents confidence through the calm they're not stressed they're feeling blessed okay they're not stressed about the outcome they know the blessing will come and there's a sense of ease the nine of wands shows the confidence because they keep at it they keep showing up they keep adding more wands to the foundation because they are confident that eventually it's going to build and create what it is that they are um hoping to um have established and then the magician is definitely confident in their craft because there's a lot of experience resources and tools that they're able to mix together okay with their beliefs as we look at the air element you notice the magician here is pointing upwards as above we see so below okay so as above in your mind what you believe so below taps into and it forms in this earthly reality so confidence is going to be very very key here which i feel like a lot of my fire signs already carry and possess (laughs) um but your manifestations are possible we start to see okay the flicker of magic and power coming in this last week moving into june you'll be surprised by what you see revealed to you and how the steps are going to um come together for you so definitely make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more sagittarius and until then stay well and be blessed